Today, I'm going to share with you the story of the three little pigs. It's rewritten by Madge Tovey and illustrated by Patrick Campbell. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mother in a wee little house. It was crowded. One day, Mother Pig said to her three pigs, It's time you go out into the world and seek your fortunes and build homes of your own. As she waved goodbye, she said, Remember, beware of the big, bad wolf. Humming and singing, the three pigs started off down the road. The big, bad wolf watched from the hill. He smiled and licked his chops. That means that he thought that they were delicious looking, kind of how you and I would look at an ice cream cone. He would lick his lips like that. The three pigs soon met a man with a load of straw. Good morning, sir, said the first little pig. May I have some straw to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now, a house made of straw is not a very strong house, and it doesn't take very long to build. But that was okay with the first little pig, because he would much rather sing and play than work hard all day. Humming and singing, the first little pig built himself a lovely little house of straw. The big bad wolf watched from the hill. He smiled and licked his chops. <laughs> the second little pig met a man with a load of sticks. Good morning, sir, he said. May I have some sticks to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now, a house made of sticks is not a very strong house. And it doesn't take very long to build. But that was okay with the second little pig. Because he would much rather sing and play than work hard all day. Humming and singing, the second little pig built himself a lovely little house out of sticks. The big bad wolf watched from the hillside. He smiled and licked his chops. <laughs> now the third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. Good morning, sir, he said. May I have some bricks to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now. Building a strong house of bricks was a lot of hard work. And even though the third little pig liked to sing and play too, he was not afraid of a little hard work each day. So humming and singing, the third little pig built himself a stout and lovely house of bricks. The big bad wolf watched from the hill he smiled and licked his chops. <laughs> One day, the big bad wolf was hungry. and He knocked on the first little pig's door. And in his friendliest voice said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. <laughs> Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, will I let you come in? Said the pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The little pig ran with all of his might to his brother's house made of sticks and they slammed the door and they locked it. The big bad wolf was hungry. He knocked on the second little pig's door. 
and said, Little pig, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The little pigs ran with all of their might to their brother's house of bricks. They slammed the door shut and locked it tight. The big bad wolf was very, very hungry. So he knocked on the third little pig's door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. And he blew, but he could not blow the brick house in. Now the big bad wolf was very, very, very hungry and angry too. I'll show you, he growled. I'll climb to your roof and slide down your chimney. But the smart little pig was ready for him. He had a big pot of water boiling on the fire. He took off the lid and the wolf fell in with a big splash. It stung his nose, it stung his toes, and it stung his tail too. Oh, oh! The wolf howled as he hopped out of the pot. Oh, oh, oh! He ran out the door and all the way to his house on the hill. Now, the wolf is still hungry, but he is not so big and bad. And the three little pigs are still humming and happy. The end.